Looks like Raptus has a little bit of a reach advantage here. Yeah, definitely a taller stature on Raptus. Um, but again, you're dealing with Canadian fighters and they always come to fight and they're well skilled. Going right to the clinch Lynch. work. Raptus jumped Raptus. in a little bit on these punches, negating her own reach. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, she seems to be really, like, closing her range up, which would be her advantage at this point. Clatchy is clearly happy to be in the clinch. Yep. Both scoring well with the kicks here. Clatchy play, placing the knees both downstairs and upstairs, like on the legs and on the body effortlessly. Nice break and throwing punches, mixing it up as well. Not really sure why the, well, the ref broke, broke that. that up. They were yeah. working pretty effectively. They seem to be working extremely effectively. But again, uh, like <laughs> I think we're both in agreement that the the refs and the judges sometimes don't see the same things that uh, like the fighters do. Agreed. Clashly angling off on that clinch. Okay, good. She's really controlling Raps's head well in the clinch, yeah. so she can't really see where the knees are coming from. She's definitely using a variety of targets, which is also good. And breaking and punching as well. She doesn't have a lot on her punches, but she's scoring no, But she's scoring really effectively. And the thing is, too, as opposed to the traditional straight-up tie plumbing, see, she's really working like that, that arm and collar clinch, which I find to be really effective, and you seem to get better leverage that way. Well, these Canadian fighters always come in well-rounded, and they, they have uh, traditional Muay Thai in terms of yeah. scoring. Yeah. Yeah, they, they score more for, a lot better with the knees and a lot better with the throws. And a lot of that just comes, again, with a, a, a greater experience with actual Muay Thai. Yeah. That was Great a spin. Really, really nice Beautiful turn. spin. Baptist just can't figure out how to use her reach tonight. The clash is really, really comfortable on the inside. Finds a range. And like you said, really, like when she breaks, Hands She's, are falling right hands away. Hands fall right away. She she transfers from one to the other really well. Oh, nice. Just nice. Going for the high kick there. Little reddening on the face there with Raptus. Yeah. Is, you know, she's given up the power to put in a higher volume of work, but yeah. it, you know that's going to add up. You know, by the redness of going on on Raptus' face, it, it yeah. is. Yeah, and like you said, Raptus is definitely, she's getting frustrated because she keeps trying to load up her punches, and that's the first sign when someone's really starting to emotionally uh, Again, fall apart. Yep. The one, two, clinch, a little bit of distance, the one, two, more knees. Yep. Nice push, push off. her off. Again. Right with the hands. Back to the knees. Just nice in and out, yo yo style clinch game. Working that right corner as well, so Raptus can, can't really hit hard in the clinch back. Going to the corners here, you know, Raptus is audience level or anywhere, so. But Touching every, gloves. Every crowd has got too much beer and too many idiots. So. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and I'm uh, pretty sure the guy spends most of his time sitting down and not uh, doing pad work. Oh, nice oh, high kick. beautiful high kick left side. Again, it's all coming off of that clinch. She breaks from the clinch and follows the hands. Distraction yep. then changes it up. Just solid strategy by McClatchy. 
and wrapped his mouth is open. She is visibly winded. And frustrated. Not a good combination. No. Raptors has to try and get out of that corner. You can't rely on yeah. the ref for that break. She, she's yep. going to put you right back it's gonna in look bad. It's going it's to look bad on the scorecards, too. Up the up the and then, then to the audience's credit, I'm actually hearing some people yell out some fairly smart things that actually are working to wrap this in favor whether she's hearing them or not. Well, I think the, the amount of clinch work we've got has put the, the casual fan onto something else. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And again, the more educated you are in the sport, the more you can appreciate the subtle things that are going on. It's not always mm -hmm. the big overhand or the, the, the big high kick or the smashing loud smack. Right. It's yep. funny, anyone that's really been kicked through will tell you the smacking sounding ones are the ones that really don't hurt don't that hurt much. Don't hurt that much. In the last 10 seconds, the Raptors are just trying to put as much work as, oh! Oh, oh that end, right though. side just, just grazing off. That Three rounds back to me, Apple winner. A little too aggressive Judge coming B in. Judge B and C Need sees, to stay his, outside sees a little fight 27-30. And Judge A sees his 28-29. Unanimously in favor of Taylor McClatchy. I'm actually a little surprised by the 29-28 call there. That was a, yeah, that was a, 